So this is a really cool story. This is a little like a little story that happens in Numbers. So continuing with the Bible, um, this is talking about still talking about Moses traveling through the wilderness. Okay, so, so the Israelites were complaining about the food, right? And then the man and the quail, and God got mad and sent them serpents. Okay, and this is a very strange story when you read it, but it's, it has so much meaning. It's so funny. Um, so uh, the Israelites get bit by the snakes. They start getting bite, bit by the snakes, and then Moses grabs one and puts one on the pole. He gra grabs one and it turns into bronze. And when they looked, this is very important. And when they looked at this bronze snake on the pole, they got healed. They were healed. Okay? Very strange story. So what's this all about? First of all, it's a, obviously a direct relation to Jesus. Okay? It's like lifting your sins up and you look at him to heal you. Right? That's the ultimate. He's the ultimate savior for your sins. That's what this, the symbolism is. Of course, it's symbolizing the, the, uh, the serpent on the garden of good and evil, right? He's going to heal you from this. you got to trust in him, though. And Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. Even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Okay. Okay. But, so, so later in the Bible, what happens was... Um, this symbol later they they turn it into a, um remember this was like a healing thing right they they looked at it and it healed them and later in the bible um what happened was people get they get lost and confused as usual and they end up t treating this thing like a like an idol okay they start worshiping this thing okay and um that's a big hint to you okay so <laughs> So, can you guys think of anything that has a, a serpent on a pole and heals you? And that it heals you? Bam! <laughs> okay. Okay. The uh, American Medical Association. Bam! Total. He, God, is telling, hinted, God, God is hinting to you, this to you, by the way. There's so many hints right here. Okay. Like, God, he, I want you guys to know that God knows, he knows. Like, he really does know the future. He knows everything that's going to happen. And he tries to hint to you stuff. Okay. Of course, the Medical Americans, the American Medical Association, remember that why the, um, God hints to you that, um, later this, this thing ends up being like a false god? Of course, if you look this up, it gives it all, all the credit not to Jesus or anything like that, right? It gives it to Apollo. Which is always, this God is always mistaken for Jesus and imagery. That's why you don't use imagery with Jesus, okay? Of course. God knew, you guys. God knows. He knows, okay? He's t trying to hint to you, okay? Definitely trying to hint to you, okay? You need to trust in Jesus, man, okay? And yes, thank God for p medical, the medical field for healing you um, and giving you a longer chance at life so you can follow Jesus, okay? All right. So think about this stuff, guys. This is... The Bible's crazy, crazy uh, knowledge. Lots of knowledge, okay?